753 on this Friday. Healthcare costs are on the rise, but there are a few simple ways that you can save money when it comes to your medical expenses. Let's go to John Muller. He's got your money. It's powered by BMW. Johnny. Sue Kanye, thank you. Coverage, copays, deductibles, <coughs> prescription drugs. When it comes to healthcare, there is a lot to pay for, and the costs are going up. So, how can you save when it comes to your medical expenses? Well, here with five simple ways to help keep money in your pocket is the financial expert, Vera Gibbons. Vera, welcome back Good to the morning, show. Good morning, John. Nice to see you. All right, the first thing you say is to stay in your network. And let me tell you something. I learned the hard way. One time, a few years ago, I went out of network for something, and I got hammered. It yes. Was a, it was an absolute nightmare. Bad idea. If you go out of your network, it could cost you hundreds of dollars. So you don't want to do that. You want to stay in your network. There's a very good resource with this for this in particular, ZocDoc.com. ZocDoc.com. Um, it makes it easy. It's a free service. It's in a bunch of states, including New York. You can find a doctor. You can find a dentist who takes your insurance. You can search by insurance. You can search by location. You can book appointments online on ZocDoc. You can book appointments on your iPhone, review doctor's credentials, even look at reviews from patients who have used that particular doctor. Well, that's so great. that's a very good resource you for you. You gotta stay just in your network and you don't know what to do, <coughs> at least you get those reviews, which is a great thing. And the nice thing is you can just search by your insurance right on that site or by by location. Fantastic. Whatever's site. easiest for you. Stay in your network, folks. Yes. Take it from me. <laughs> if there's any takeaway from this segment, wow. that would be it. Stay I'll, in your I'll, network. I'll, I'll, <coughs> you could wheel me in an ambulance two towns away to get to the right doctor because I'm never going to go through that again. All right. The next Lesson one you learned. say is visit a very good site called drugstore.com. Tell us right. Well, see, the thing is the average American spends like $335 a year on prescription drugs. So you want to save. You don't want to go to just any site, though, to save because some of these sites are a little questionable. But drugstore.com is legitimate. Your doctor is going to call your prescription in, fax your prescription in, and it's just an easy, easy way to save. You can save up to 30% on your prescription. And the doctor's outside. offices fax it or call it in, so it's not a hassle. They're it's up to not speed a on hassle. It. it does take about a week or so to get your prescription, okay. so if you're in a rush, you, then that would be one thing. That's but, not an option. Yeah. All right. Uh, generic drugs. You say go generic. Makes sense, right? I know. It does well, make sense, extra. right? I mean, the markups on the brand name yep. drugs are up to 350% on the market. So easy, easy way to save is to go generic. You know, people, what they're doing, they're splitting their pills in half to save money. Yes, I, I know. I mean, that's just crazy stuff. It is just so crazy. You can go generic. Uh, you get mm. your doctor to prescribe a generic equivalent to the brand name. And generics are regulated. I mean, they're, the government's yes. looking out for you. Same active ingredients, same dosage, same everything, only a whole lot cheaper. Yeah. So that's an easy way to cheaper save as well. Cheaper is good. You say uh, use your flexible spending account. <coughs> I, I've never even heard of this term. Explain. Maybe, I know, I'm am surprised. I the only one who doesn't <laughs> no. know this? Well, if your company offers it, you're probably in it. They're very popular accounts used by one out of every three employees if they're offered by their employer. They allow you to use your pre-tax dollars to pay for your dental, your medical expenses. Go to wageworks.com to see what exactly is eligible. But money that goes into these accounts escapes income, Social Security, Medicare taxes, and you are going to reduce your overall cost for your eligible expenses by about 20 percent. So they're very popular and worth taking a look at if your employer offers them. Absolutely, absolutely positively. Lastly, this is uh, surprising, but you know, maybe it's not so much in the climate we're in right now. You say negotiate. In the old days, you didn't negotiate. Americans don't have <laughs> I know, but look at it now. Have. Everything's negotiable, right? Everything's a hack. Everything is negotiable, even your medical bills. I mean, yep. doctors do it all the time with insurance companies. Labs do it all the time with insurance companies. So why not do it with your doctor? Don't be shy. Don't be intimidated. Ask them for a break. Try to work out a payment plan. So you ask how much a root canal costs, and you say, you know what? Uh, how about I give you 700 Can instead you do of 900? This? Times are and they might say. They might. But the bottom line is they'd rather get something from you rather than nothing. I know what they said. They say yes, but don't tell anybody. <laughs> That's what they'll say. <laughs> yeah. All right, Vera, thank you very much for coming Thanks, in. Some John. good tips. For more on these five ways to save on health care, make sure you log on to pix11.com/slash morning news.